Valley News Live 10 at 10 continues with no wait weather. All right, hard to beat a day like today with temperatures in the mid 70s for Fargo, low 70s up north, 68 the peak reading today in Hallock, and a lot of low 70s across Lakes Country as a warm air mass has blown in on all of those gusty winds of the past couple of days. Our winds have settled down substantially, still around 10 miles per hour, and it's 61 degrees on a dry and clear Thursday night. In Grand Forks, questionable uh, winds have been a little bit stronger, I should say, with a temperature of 53 degrees at this hour. Elsewhere, 48 right now in Gwinter, 54 for Langdon. And look at this, 67 still the temperature for you in Sisseton. It's 10 degrees cooler for much of Lakes Country, all the way from uh, Otter Tail County right up into the Lake of the Woods area. As we take a look at the satellite, we see that there's a stream of clouds working its way out of the Rockies, making its way north of Winnipeg right now. This actually uh, given or driven, I should say, by the jet stream working its way over the Rockies, providing a building ridge of high pressure, warm core of air that's going to continue to influence our weather. So for this evening, as we head to bed with temperatures above our seasonal averages in many cases, we'll see them slowly slide through the 50s as we go through the overnight hours. We could still be near 60 degrees in places like Sisseton, where it's very warm. Now, as we start our day, we could still have some pretty breezy southerly conditions, 15 to 20 mile per hour winds. And it looks like as we go through the midday hour, we'll have a few clouds streaming overhead. The gusty winds will pick up 25 to 35 miles per hour generally from a southerly direction. And all of the yellow colors you see on the map, 60s, where the or oranges, some 70s already by the lunch hour. Heading into the afternoon, those 70s continue, but the clouds are on the increase. Friday night football games, if you're out and about, expect those winds to be quite gusty out of the south, upwards of 30 miles per hour or so. But temperatures will be quite agreeable for another warmer than average fall like day. 52 to start, temperatures rising into the mid 70s for the afternoon. Gusts around 30 miles per hour with the wind still breezy into the evening hours sunset at 630. 71 tomorrow afternoon in Jamestown, 73 in Thief River Falls. In Bemidji, 69 for your afternoon reading. And it wouldn't be a surprise to see an isolated 80 degree high for our day on Friday. Here's a look at Saturday then. As we head through the overnight, all these clouds will lead to a chance of showers by the morning hours on Saturday from the valley and east. Then in the afternoon, a second wave moves through. As the game is going on in the Fargo Dome, Temperatures much cooler, though, with a northwest wind out there. After peaking near 60, we will dip down into the 50s. Annetta getting some soybean harvesting done there and uploading a dandy photo. Thanks for uploading. And here's a look at your planning forecast. Friday and Saturday, we cool off, falling temperatures into Sunday even more. And it looks breezy both Saturday and Sunday. A shower or two on Monday. And look at the temperatures and a rock bottom here. 49 degrees on Tuesday. Windy again on Wednesday. Tuesday may be the most wind-free of the days of the upcoming seven-day forecast. So we'll enjoy the next couple of days immensely. Indeed. Thank you, Hutch. You bet.